This is the Emergency Medical Minute, sponsored by Health One. All right, so I was going to do a medical minute on a little case that we had. Uh, it was an interesting case that turned out to be a little interesting uh, process to talk about. So it was a stroke alert, um, and the report from EMS down the patient was kind of sick, um, kind of abrupt onset, weakness, altered mental status, um, arrived uh, looking terrible, um, you know, uh, Diaphoretic, looked uh, pretty unresponsive, as EMS said, uh, barely responsive to pain, seemed to maybe even have a little bit of uh decerebrate uh, or decorticate posturing, um, didn't seem to be protecting his airway very well. So it was one of these stroke alerts that came in. We're like, all right, we need to stabilize patient before they go to CT. So he got intubated, kind of stabilized. He was pretty hypertensive. We were thinking maybe it was a bad head bleed initially. So we actually lowered his blood pressure. Neurology even gave mannitol because he looked like such a head bleed. Um, then we finally got him over to CT and I looked in his non-contrast head CT looked normal. I was like, oh, that's interesting. Guy looks terrible and his non-contrast head CT looks fine. And then his CT TA did show a basilar artery thrombosis or a complete occlusion of his basilar artery. Um, so he went to interventional radiology, uh, did get a clot extraction. And so he basically had what we sometimes call locked in syndrome, which is a couple of different processes that can lead to um, either bleeding or ischemia or sometimes a tumor or some kind of obstruction of your brainstem, like a bilateral, almost complete brainstem um, non-functioning from some kind of process. And it, they call it locked in syndrome because it destroys your you know, motor tract except for your eyes and it can preserve your consciousness if you recover. So it can lead to a condition where people are aware and conscious, but the only thing they can do is blink their eyes or sometimes move their eyes and do not regain otherwise motion or movement at all. Um, so if it is a basilar artery thrombus, interventional radiology can be very helpful. Um, and they actually will do IR to remove a clot up to 48 hours after symptoms because otherwise it's such a devastating disease that has pretty poor prognosis. If it's a hemorrhage, it's a very terrible prognosis. Um, sometimes patients actually recover and do great after they have you know, treatment. Uh, unfortunately, this patient, even though he was treated fairly quickly, uh, did not recover and he was made comfort care after a couple days in the ICU. Uh, but yeah, interesting thing that I don't think anybody would want uh, to have locked in syndrome, but it is a thing that, you know, sometimes we think it's a head bleed. Non-con head CT looks fine. Um, they should get the CTA, make sure there's no basal artery thrombus, anything that can be intervened upon. Any questions? All right. Thanks, guys. We are on a quest to provide the world with free medical education. Please help us out by rating us on iTunes, following us on social media, and subscribing to our newsletter at emergencymedicalminute.com.